I'm just going to go live like mid conversation. This is how we start. Um, we are live on YouTube. Hello, hello, hello. Um, like all professional shows, we have just begun mid conversation. I have with me Tapsi Pannu, Tahir Raj Basin, Akash Bhatia, and Atul Kazbekar, the creative team or part of the creative team of Loop Lapeta. First of all, congratulations um, on the release of your movie. Um, I really enjoyed it. I watched it over the weekend. Uh, very stylish. Very many, many things. Chat, everybody say hello. And I'm going to hey, start. Hey, hi, guys. <coughs> hello, I'm, hello. I'm going to. I'm going to start straight away with asking you a question because um, so this is obviously a remake of Run Lola Run, um, which is a new age classic on its own. But as I found out while wicking it, is somehow 25 years old. I don't understand how that's possible, but Run Lola Run is 25 years old. So what yeah. brought each of you in your own way to this sort of remake of this 25 year old classic, um, modern classic film? I'm very curious to know. Should I start since I bought the rights? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Wow. wow, what a flex. What a that's flex. A kind, that's the kind of subtle flex you're going to get from Atul throughout, throughout this interview. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, I just want to, before he starts talking, I just want to add that those books behind him are a wallpaper. Those are not wallpaper. <laughs> <people. laughs> so, it's, it's part of my intellectual vibe. Four, yeah. four intellectual vibe. That's, but, that's just amazing. I mean, oh what a God, wow. I'm very concerned. I have a giraffe behind me. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, so yes, you start. No, no. So, um, you know, when I saw the film, I'm like, this is a highly Indian kind of idea. And I had no idea how how Germans who are you know very uh, straightforward and straight laced and have no concept of punar janam or or anything of the sort have have suddenly uh, you know connect time and destiny. So for example, you know Atul used to be half an hour late every day, and uh, you know the one time he was uh, on time he got hit by a truck, whatever you know. So so if I was late on that day as well, I would not get hit. You know that kind of thing is is only something that Indians will ever talk about. And when I saw the original uh, uh, Run Lola Run, it stuck at the back of my head. Turns out things like this are cosmic. Years later, we met this guy called Ayush who happened to have the rights and couldn't put it together. And I'm like, we'll take this. And it is in fact the first film that Ellipsis acquired to make. And it took four and a half years, uh, four directors, three different sets of writers, lots of no's until, a, uh, until the very lovely Miss Pandu said yes. And, uh, and, and then, you know, we got this bearded lunatic uh, on board and, and 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 then we like mud wrestle tire into a green so wow what an introduction guys wow <laughs> i have i have i've never heard yeah. such an eloquent introduction to a film crew before like well done well done so we have we have a bearded lunatic we have a person who said yes and someone who was apparently mud wrestled into this um, <laughs> now i need to know your versions of these events and basically defend your reputations uh, from your own producer <laughs> Yeah, I am the lovely Miss Pannu who said yes. The lovely <laughs> who actually, yes. <laughs> who actually came. I, when Atul called me, I told him, Atul, I've just done a film down south which has this time loop concept. So I'm not sure if I want to do it again. And he's like, yeah, just have a, just hear it out. And this was, I think, the first time Ellipsis had called me for a film. So I said, you know, let me just like be courteous. So, <laughs> so I went to hear it and all in my mind ready to like say, okay, I've heard it, but it's the same thing. So let me just like not repeat it. And I laughed through the narration of those two hours. I heard it from the writers and I laughed and how, and the moment it got over, I was like, this is very different from what I imagined it to be. And I didn't see La Run Lola Run before this at all. Okay. I just read, ab read about it, what the concept is like. Uh, that's about it. And the moment the narration got over, in a few minutes after having a conversation with how much I loved it and what really made me like get excited about it, I said yes. Amazing. So they didn't have to convince me or mud, mud wrestle me after that. So it was a very clean <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Tahir, uh, let's, let, let's talk about the mud wrestling. No, no, first, oh, first no, no. Bhatia. Because Sorry. Bhatia came in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In, 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 order, in order of arrival. Okay, okay, okay. Mine was uh, pretty uh, easy in terms of the fact that I, I heard the work in progress draft of the script and I, I was quite excited by a lot of it. And, uh, uh, you know, just the, when I told Atul that, you know, I like a lot of it, but I would like to change a lot of it. And the fact that he said, yeah, let's do it. 
and that sort of uh, uh, that sort of uh, that, that's a kind of a yes that i didn't know if bollywood people would give me because it was it's, it was my first film but the way he handled the situation with me i felt like this is the kind of guy who will let the film making uh, take place and not try and dictate any of uh, things that you tend to hear about bollywood and obviously uh, tapsi was already attached to the project and she approved of me so you know so that 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 helped the cause a little bit yeah you approved of me I I like that I like that phrase I want I want to understand this approval was there like a blood sacrifice was there I want to understand <laughs> what the approval <laughs> process here is I want to know <laughs> here it was a very plain simple watching the Vimeo link of his ads it was as simple as I think I on that note I should have asked for some kind of a blood sacrifice it would have been more dramatic to say it in <laughs> she drew out the blood do the cause you should have said something like yeah. kissy shades we will accept him he would have probably yeah, refused the film like I would have said no I yeah, would have said he no. would have refused the film <laughs> Mm-hmm. But perhaps uh, at the at the success party, we can always blood sacrifice a bit of him. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is this is yeah, an no. exclusive, Rohan. This is the first I'm hearing of a success party. So it can I mean, be. More power it, to you. It, it can be. It can be something like we. हमने मन्नत मांगी थी कि अगर ऐसा हुआ तो हम ये काट देंगे डायरेक्टर का. No such thing. <laughs> I would appreciate it if all guests on this show refraining refrain from plot, plotting murder um, live on camera. Uh, on this show, this is not a platform uh, for such things. Uh, unlike, unlike the, the unlike the previous live that we met on that I thoroughly yes. enjoyed. <laughs> yes. Because I won. Because yes. So so basically. You were cheating. It's good to know they're not at all competitive about it. That's the important thing. Um, for context, people who might missed it uh, last week uh, on Netflix's YouTube channel, there was a game show that they both participated in, uh, and I want to say that they were just sort of supporting and promoting their movie, but. Um, they get very intense like tahir you got you got way intense about this so so let's now i need you to explain how were you mud wrestled how was your intense self mud wrestled into this project as as any interaction with mr kasbekar is it was as eventful as he makes it sound uh, i think I, if i remember right it was the weekend that chichore released and and it is sort of when a, when a film releases and it does well that's when you have a lot of heat around an actor So I remember I was meeting some five people uh, that day, and someone from Atul's office called and said that he would he would like to meet. And I think they they uh, I I don't know whether they pitched it in this way or this is what they were told to keep things under wrap. But they said we're making a we're making a remake. So the first thing I'm thinking is it's a South remake, and oh god, not a, not not a South <laughs> remake. I don't want to do this. And then they said we're doing a science fiction. So in my head I'm imagining a science oh fiction god. South remake. <laughs> So who I'm was like, this oh, person who called him? Yeah, this is meeting and walk out in ten minutes. And then Atul being Atul, like we we met for coffee in Bandra, and I remember ordering the coffee, and it, it, I've got it till here, and I was like, so what's the remake you're doing? And he's like, we bought the rights to this film. I was like, uh huh, which one? And he said, Run Lola Run, and the coffee just stopped there, and I think he he he, he had me at that moment, and that that's uh, that's all that there is. So I think like in in to to clarify everything, when you set the benchmark at, at science fiction South remake, and then you go with Run Lola Run, it's a win. <laughs> This is how I'm going to pitch everything now going forward. Yeah, exactly. Now, I'm going to soften everyone into thinking it's some sort of like South sci-fi remake, and then yeah. hit them with the actual idea, which will just sound better in comparison. Yeah. Um. So, um, who's so what? Why Goa? Like, so the movie people don't know the movie set in Goa, and you chose Goa as your setting. Uh, very very interesting setting. I'm just curious to know why Goa. Shall I go? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. You only Goa because go. yeah. Also, like Goa has been has been fictionalized a little bit in the film. You know, we never really explicitly call it Goa. In fact, we go out of our way to say it's not. But the landscape is what we really wanted. You know, a place where uh, uh, characters like a uh, characters of this quirk and this variety could sort of coexist. And plus, it, the film plays out in this susegar hour of the day. You know, where nothing really <laughs> is functioning because yeah. well, it is that kind of an hour and. For for a character like Savi to sort of get this going in that time during that hour of the day, it felt like Goa felt like the, felt like the correct space. Plus, there's a cas- certain casino thing there, so it was like an ideal fit. So there are a lot of these things that made us uh, go towards the towards the direction of Goa. Plus, we also thought that if you're going to Goa, let's not show Goa in the popular sort of Bollywood fiction world we've seen it. You know, it's, it's almost like a tourist destination, and we've gone a- gone away from that. You know, we've. we've shown crampy spaces we've shown you know the other other side of things that are more characteristic to a film than goa okay that's yeah. awesome also i'm sure it was just fun to shoot in goa like that that, that would have been the short answer yeah <laughs> like, yeah like i'm getting you know half the film is shot in mumbai to make it look like goa as well from a production yeah. perspective 
Yeah, yeah. So we shot in magical places like SL Studios. Oh wow! <laughs> thrilling, thrilling, thrilling places. <laughs> thrilling. Make, 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 you know, make me cry. Which, which make is me cry lovely. Again. Which, which is lovely in the winter. You know, if you go to SL Studio in the winter, it's really quite gorgeous. You yeah. take your coffee and your mosquito cream. And you're, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so glad we got the producer on this chat because we have spent one month promoting this film, answering questions like, so what was it like shooting in Goa? And we're like, it's, it's amazing. No, no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Tapsi just put her head in her hands for a second, so I want to know why that happened. Yeah, I have like very bad memories of driving down all the way to Trombay to shoot things. Okay, and I was training yeah. for another film, so for me, they, it was an obnoxious. Time uh, the time so to say getting up at like four a.m. sometimes to make sure I work out a little bit before I reach the set all the way to Bombay and then come back. So the travel time was a bitch. But uh, to to Akash's credit, I have had uh, friends who are locals from Goa call me and say, "Hey, what part of Goa were you shooting in?" I was like, "It's a secret." <laughs> <we can't tell." laughs> yeah. it's that that part of Goa is called Bombay. It's called nice. Bombay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's called Bollywood Trump imagination. Bay, more specific. Yeah. So how many? I, this I want to know after watching the movie. How many? Tell me you had some sort of fitness wearable on. How many kilometers did you run? Uh, <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I wish we had. I had that very very old antique watch. जिसका पहले पहले तो glass टूटना था सिर्फ. उसके बाद फिल्म के start होते होते after some time there's one minute hand that went away. Then the hour hand also went away. By by the end of it was like उसको भी सीजी करना पड़ेगा so that is the watch that they made me wear so there is there was no production budget to make me wear a fancy smart watch only a fancy only a fancy phone that I was carrying yeah very uh, fancy phone. Atul uh, your rebuttal to uh, <laughs> no, no. I like how this has become the news hour. Oh, hey, yeah. one second. There is way, yeah. there is way too much decorum in this conversation. <laughs> we, we had a, we had an intern. We had an intern who's uh, who only got his meals if he accurately clocked Tapsi's <laughs> steps to the nearest one hundred in the entire sixteen-hour period. So uh, there were many days he didn't get fed. So, uh, <laughs> now you know. What a hot one. On an story. average, on an average, yeah. she did fourteen thousand nine hundred sixty-two. Nice. Okay. Nice. Tap, she's, she's frozen. frozen. She's frozen. She's frozen. She's frozen. <laughs> this is this is the most delighted anyone has ever been. This is a screenshot of an interview. I'm in shock. This is the most. I'm a shock. I'm that, a shock. I'm in shock. That should be called a shock face. That I'm gonna. That that was proper shock. It was not shock face. You had a smile on your face. I'm gonna tell everybody you just delighted for the entire portion of this stream. That's gonna be the official narrative. Uh, now okay. I have I have okay. audience questions for you guys. एक तो है सिद्धार्थ बिष्णु का सुपर चैट हूँ जस्ट सेइंग थैंक यू सो मच फॉर मेकिंग दिस मूवी आई हैड ब्लास्ट वाचिंग इट अमेजिंग एक्टिंग स्क्रिप्ट एंड व्हाट ब्यूटी इच फ्रेम वाज अमेरिक अमेजिंग सिनेमेटोग्राफी एंड ब्यूटीफुल कलर्स पोखराज हैज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर ताहिर ताहिर आई यू टायर्ड ऑफ बीइंग कॉल्ड इंटेंस योर डिंपल इज क्यूट प्लीज परस्यू रोमांटिक रोल्स आल्सो एग्जिबिट ए वाइल्ड स्टोन एड Should the rest of us just leave? Should the rest of us just leave? Like my, 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 story, my theory is this is from someone from the agency that made that hat. That's my theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, guys, if you think I've always been intense, please watch Loop Lapeta because it disproves any any of any of those theories because I'm anything but intense. It it it's true in the movie or not? I mean, you can be you can be quite intense in this thing. Tapsi has left us. Um, A uh, one one minute silence for Tapsi who has left. Maybe the network. Maybe maybe the next comment should be about one of her ads. May, maybe. No <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, now I'm back with better network hopefully. Yeah. Though actually I do have a question for you, Tapsi. So oh by the way, actually no wait, Tahir, I want to finish this. All right, because yes. now one of the distinct things about doing these streams is I research the people that I'm streaming, and that means I have to go to your Wikipedia pages. And I right. need to understand who's running your Wikipedia pages because I'm just going to directly. I have it. But that's here, not right? a that's not a very good research that's work. Like, Let me just like say that. Yeah, that's the most that mostly laziest research work that one can actually do. But I have a direct. I agree with you. I'm not suggesting it's good quality research. I'm not suggesting <laughs> that I'm doing high. Nobody said anything about doing shallow high dive, quality shallow research. Dive. All right. Yeah, yeah it's very shallow. So the dive. shallow research, research that you have done. The shallow research that I have done has brought me to Tahir Raj Basin spectacular Wikipedia page. Which Shit. in 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 the section on personal life and off-screen work, and Tahir, you're going to have to defend this. Um, in an interview, 
Basin admitted that he had relationships during school and college days. But, 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 after being committed to acting, he does not have time for relationships. <laughs> wow, what, how profound is what, that tire? Right. What is this? Ye, wow. meri, aarti, meri dulhan hai attitude. Please. <laughs> 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 I, I, I think what the, the danger about Wikipedia is they can pick up anything out of context and it really depends on who was asking me that question because it's a sort of damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of uh, question to answer. Are you in a relationship? Because if you give the right answer, then that's going to make headlines. And if you give the give the wrong answer, one day Rohan Joshi will do a live where he will read yeah, it out. It's going to come on Wikipedia. Yeah. You chose this life, Tahir Rajoshi. Yeah. You chose this life. But yes, that's your answer. That's your entire answer. Fine. That, that is my answer. Yes. I will accept this answer, Tahir Rajoshi. Uh, expecting <clears> Yeah. I, I accept it. I'm not saying I love it, but I accept it. Yeah. Um, Tapsi, looking you up, honestly, was exhausting. Because I'm just going to try and read it out here. Software engineer. Then model, then actor, but you also one sec. You also run a wedding company. Uh, wedding planning company. A wedding Let's planning company. Wedding, wedding, wedding planning company would have been really weird though. Wedding planning <laughs> company. I'm not suggesting you're running some sort of visa racket or like a human trafficking yeah. operation. That is not the suggestion that is being made here. Um, and you own a badminton team. So I guess my question is, um, why are you such an underachiever, bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have this whole thing where i feel like time is running out i need to do a lot of things my lifeline is very short in my hand i need to make sure i do as much as i can before i die okay because i'm not sure if i'll get another chance like satya did so i need to like make sure i do enough <laughs> brilliant plan and you thought, brilliant and you thought i was intense like yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> really hey that so the thing about that is though right like you're doing all of these things you're picking all these very things and you mentioned like the repeated things that satya does that's one thing that wasn't in the original movie um this sort of this where you've tied it very neatly without giving any spoilers to this indian mythological yeah um like sort of theme that was my big selling point uh, to the script actually when i heard it that was my wow moment okay uh, when i heard it yeah that script. was very yeah. interesting to me also when i watched it i want to know where that whose idea was that where did that come from that's be so uh, uh we'd gone through three four sets of writers and uh, the guys who finally nailed it and to be fair none of the earlier versions were right or wrong you know it just is it is it, is it hitting you in the head or not so these guys called vinay chawal and uh, ketan pedgaonkar had cracked this bit which i thought was pure genius uh you know of, of making the whole thing like relatable and i hate to think of it as a remake i think now a lot of people say adaptation and when we took this on sure my yeah. uh, you know raja sen the good friend of mine he's one of the critics who's who's work uh, uh, i i respect and view i respect so my visual was that raja walks into the screening saying how dare you mess with the classic mm mm-hmm. so with his arms crossed and really bad body language and then he sees it and says you know well okay well played and he twirls his mustache or something dramatic like that so uh, which which uh, you know was the way like the brief given to everybody i pretty much said this to akash as well because for example i i he knows this you won't mind me saying this i'd spoken to my dear friend ram madhwani and uh, you know say hey ram you know we made neerja together there was a classic how about doing this so he looks at me and says bro why would you remake shole and look what happened when somebody tried to do that right so so you know it's a bit scary and i think okay i think i still do it anyway so <laughs> hey i mean not not every fool's errand is a bad one uh we we know this and this one this one worked out uh so yeah and, and then akash went and you, you know did his own number on the script which you know made it like more coherent and also uh like production friendly so for example writers write things without thinking as to what the hell that might cost you know uh, so they are no. they, they are a scene written <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> scene opens in a bathroom in barcelona you know why <laughs> okay because, because we thought of it because we haven't been okay <laughs> i'm a barca fan oh. <laughs> yeah so like, like that is one scene if you give me two seconds is, is you know there's a piano being hauled up outside a building and there's a cyclist once the first one the the, the piano lands in front of the cyclist and the second one nails the cyclist and third one lands behind it and he has no idea the piano is falling because he's got headphones on now just imagine just rigging this and doing this 
and the fact that the visual of a piano being hauled outside is something they've seen in some uh movie you, you know based in uh, amsterdam or in uh, new york city and that doesn't happen in in india right anywhere pretty much so you know i'm like okay cancel that so so akash had the guy on, on noodle you know carrying noodles for appu <laughs> and they decided to rig their actors instead yeah yes, i was yeah. i was i was just going to say atul is exuding some very big um, kya tumhe lagta hai paise ped pe ukte hai energy uh, <laughs> right now uh, <laughs> really really here for it really really enjoying it uh but that so one of the other things that sort of struck me about the film and that i really really liked and i want to sort of shift the conversation a little bit to that is um what i really like about the film is that how do i say this every little character is every little sort of speaking part uh, fleshes itself out very nicely and is played by really good actors and i've always felt like this is something that the hindi film industry had a gaping <clears throat> void of you have your two leads and like even in the 90s right you'd watch films where you there'd be your two leads then the next most interesting character was the villain and then there was one comic relief and that was it right like nobody else was thought of as living breathing characters so um how did you sort of make sure that every single character in this film was because that's the other thing i love about the film is that every character seems like a caricature at the start becomes more and more interesting Mm-hmm. as the sort of loops play out so how did you consciously work to make that happen because i feel like that's something that's so rare in this industry that's all bhatia yeah. no so i mean from like you said you know that, that's the sort of instinct that one wants to completely sort of negate you know uh, because you you've seen this in uh, uh, bollywood and you've seen this in the mainstream cinema uh, that you grown up on ki yeah thing a character hota unka kuch pata nahi kahan se aaya unka pata nahi kahan ja rahe So while we were writing this film, a these were the characters that are different from the original. These were characters that weren't in the original and are, are only in the loop lapeta world, right? So for me, it was very, very important that everybody had their own arcs. Everybody had their own resolve by the end of it. Something as simple as this guy struggling to buy fish by the end of it gets to eat his <laughs> fish fry, and that's his catch of the day. That's what he finishes on. So everybody gets their own uh, point that they are working towards, and and the struggles that Savi and Satya are facing. are being faced by the, the, these other people in 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 their own singular capacity as well and that that's what makes the entire thing very interesting where where you touch one life and it touches so many others right so the, it needed to fulfill itself it would would have been it would have been very bad i mean i hope it's good but it would have been definitely bad if we just used them as uh, as as the as the one dimensional uh, archetypes that they mostly are uh, used as is this just been something that sort of um in a way like we sort of this is like a self inflicted wound that bollywood has been carrying for a while though like this like like okay to put it another way is this like a fallout of this star system that we had sort of fallen into for so many years where your focus is so much on sort of two big leads that everything else just falls by the wayside because i remember we were also talking last week and you were like the idea now is to push like top technical talent and creative talent also right so is that a change that's happening I think I'll answer that. Should yeah. I? Yeah. Actually, that's for yeah, all of you. Time. Honestly, it's yeah. for all of you. It's for all of you. I'm. This is because okay, I mean, I, you guys are in it. I I I feel it's a it's an institutional shift that's going on, and this is not only uh, in India. It's happening worldwide, and the whole the the issue of following two leads or your single male protagonist is is something that that's followed the world over. If you look at Hollywood mm-hmm. films, that's the way they were made. But we are a generation. that has grown up on say an oceans 11 where you can have 11 people in the frame and all of them have equal parts we've got a gen z that watches marvel movies where it's about each character having their their own track and i feel when audience behaviors change uh, so does the writing and things sort of follow after that so although we are a little behind in this process in terms of uh, how we get ensemble films together and who are the people who are agreeing to do them but i do see it happening in the foreseeable future Tapsi, Atul, Akash. Atul, you should go for it because as a producer, you will be able to have a different perspective than Akash. Yeah, I, you know, I think that with, 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 honestly, with all due respect, I think the days when you know you needed exactly like you put it, you needed uh, some level of comic relief. So you call Johnny Bai, and Johnny Bai knows exactly what he needs to do, and he, he, he you know, he's he's fantastic, but he's doing the exact same thing. And I genuinely believe that 
if he was given a chance to do more, he's a fine enough actor to do anything that you asked him to. But mm-hmm. nobody asked him to, right? Sure. So, for example, Jagdish Raj had his own. Uh, he had made his own cop uniforms. So when they asked him, "You have to be the cop who comes and says, 'Nay, uh, ise kanun ki hath kar do,' you know, kind of thing." Huh. So he said, "Acha, what do I have to be? Inspector, sub inspector, ACP, uh, PC, whatever it is." He had all his own because he's not going to wear some dirty costume that somebody else gave him. So he had his own. He would take it there to the set, finish two days' work, and come back. You know. So at the end of Shole, the cop comes and uh, you know takes Gabbar away, that kind of thing. But I think our audience has hugely matured now in expecting uh, you know um, everyone to play their little parts. And Akash fought for a lot of those people. He has never forgiven me for the fish Mossy, who gives David, Inspector David the fish. He didn't let me. Uh, I mean, I didn't let him fly somebody from Bombay. I said, "Are you insane? You know, we are in Goa. I'm sure you can find somebody to sell your goddamn fish to." Uh, The director not cost me another lakh and a half for no reason, so he has only taken back shots of her and not shown her face because he didn't like her performance. Wow. <laughs> so, okay. No, no so that's, that's, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. <laughs> I, I didn't have it. I didn't have it. Classes. These classes. Khulase, these classes are priceless. They are like gems falling no, no, right now. No, she was amazing. Okay, she was no, no. Atul, don't say things like that. Yeah. She was really good. It's just that I yeah. couldn't fulfill imagine, her. Imagine, imagine if she and her whole family sat down to watch this live for that performance of the back shot, and this is what they heard. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever thought about that, Akash? No, you only think yeah. yourself. No, 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 no. I did. Yeah. I did think about it, and uh, I mean, the story's demands uh, uh, were different. There were so many scenes of tapsi that I've had to cut. So many beautiful close-ups. But so many really? that you left in also. Why like it's not cut? like. <laughs> Why did you cut off my? Atul Kasbeker. <laughs> What is wrong with you? But but once it was coming to Tapsi's close-up, I have a nugget for you. Our uh, our brilliant, brilliant, brilliant DOP, okay, uh, was uh, uh, madly in love with her at some point in time, which I think took about one point eight shifts for that to happen. <laughs> so <laughs> he's shooting his loving close-ups with a twenty-four millimeter lens, you know. So if you know, fourteen, sixteen, this close. So any closer, I know. I put headband. Nice. <laughs> that, that, so that's... at one point. At what point, just to send a message, and it's not like he had any kind of body odor whatsoever, but just to tell him that you are really very close, you know. She and I went to the local chemist, and I said, uh, "Yash, uh, you know, like Tapsi has given this for you." <laughs> so he's like, "Okay, baby, I am too close." <laughs> that's that's polite. That's very polite. Oh, so, so just to just to just to add to that, so basically, all those those romantic, uh, those, those those making out scenes that you saw between Tapsi and me, it was normally Tapsi, <laughs> me, and the DOP in those scenes. Yeah. I mean, and, and and like Yash wrote in one of your Instagram comments, and me on the mic, or pass ya, or pass ya. Yeah, yeah. Akash, Akash was listening to everything we ever said. So at one point, we realized this, and we started saying great things about him because we knew he was listening. <laughs> You know, so I mean, Akash you... had the weirdest commentary during the kissing scene. He, I'll tell you one very awkward thing. So we had, it's like they are montage because there's no sound getting recorded. Mm-hmm. So he's like, okay, now fight. Okay, now this. Okay, now you have to like, okay, now talk nicely. Yeah, yeah, hold hands. Yeah, yeah. Now you have to kiss. Okay, it's like it was. It's like switch. अच्छा अब ये अच्छा ये अच्छे. Suddenly in, in the middle of the kiss, he's like, yeah, ताय. You you've never seen a girl like her. Yeah, you, you'll never get a girl like her. And I am. The, I stopped in between the kiss. I started looking at that. <laughs> What is it? Okay, that's his brief on the mic. It was no. It was really like this is taking the mood away. Let's just stop listening to him for a second. You have yeah, single-handedly. You have single-handedly anybody who has ever enjoyed a romantic or intimate scene in cinema. You have torn the mystique of it apart for <laughs> forever. Like you have fully torn it apart forever. So I thank you all. uh for that um, nothing but the truth here on 30 questions um, what's up what's up singhania has a question uh do you all think that there's more room to explore genres like sci-fi etc in bollywood especially with the proliferation of ott platforms because it still doesn't feel like there's enough in this space and uh, there is always space for more yeah it's like the space is expanding universe is expanding there's always more space But more yeah, space I mean, is more just, clutter, also, right? So how do you how do you stop that from happening? See, uh, I think there are too many concepts right now. It's about how see, you know there was a saying that there are only seven stories or something in the world, huh. and you derive from all of that, and you know mix and match, and you make your story like that. You can still mix and match and make concepts, but it's about 
you know the, the the stress is about taking that step like uh, the most of the messages that i got who liked the film had one common thing to say that you are brave to take this step like ye picture karne ke liye g me d hona chahiye this this was one one very common line with the people who really liked the film so uh, when a lot of this will happen this will become a norm and not g me d thing so yeah yeah but it does it does take a kehte na wo leap of faith like a blind dive okay we'll see uh, you know we'll we'll figure we'll figure it out after we are in it kind okay. of a situation that's how we all got into it okay. also for something like sci-fi or let's say heavy duty action please understand that like the last fast and furious edition in the theatrical release made some 120 odd crores uh, nationally so now if you're talking car chase in assorted languages that is your benchmark you know right. so sure. if you're thinking of producing something you you are uh, in competition with that so you can't go up and down you know up and down marine drive in the ceiling in a car chase now so you need to do some majorly insane stuff to uh, be even remotely relevant so then think carefully so and that's a lot of bucks so so i guess that's where i guess writing and ideas will start to become more and more important right like you said where it's not yeah. just about yeah. spectacle any more i'm i'm starting to suspect this whole life is a pitch for better writers this my entire <laughs> existence yeah. everywhere possible is always yeah. always yeah always whoever possible. whoever can save producers money yet make sense and be different and uh, be able to get actors to say yes yeah okay so there <laughs> we go that was that was the you've just given a two line summation of atul kasbekar basically given that this thing <laughs> happened Given that I think that's it. I think that's his Tinder bio. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. Uh, massive. Uh, the, okay, we have another super chat here. This is a uh, site. This thing. Um, two questions here. Uh, Tapsi, did you actually break any car mirrors while shooting Loop Lapeta, and did you have fun breaking them? Uh, broke two, but didn't really have. I mean, I'm not a destructive person. Yeah, no, I, I don't know why they keep making me do this. Uh, hitting and kicking and all this like violent stuff. I don't really enjoy doing it, but yeah, I had to do it for the film. Uh, and thankfully, uh, we did it in one go, so we didn't have to uh, retake it. Okay, that's... that was my car. Nobody, my nobody car. asked about what. The... That was your car. That was my personal car that we painted red uh, for the film. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Swift that our man is driving around. Uh, the main. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See the level of sacrifice for this film. Producer sir, आप मतलब क्या कर रहे हो? मतलब एक स्विफ्ट तो एक स्विफ्ट तो दिला देते यार. You guys are asking about side view mirrors. Uh, nobody asked Tapsi about that uh, poor guy in the green Mercedes who can never have children again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's true. It's I was Jack. so worried. Did you have a sound effect on that one? I was so one? worried. Oh. I was so worried. I that was really really scared to give that shot. I was like shit like if this goes wrong. But surely cricket <laughs> has taught us that there could have been protection used. And there was died. protection he was oh. padded and there was a stunt team also. So yeah, all uh, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I was still scared. Man, imagine she, she was scared to break through the protection. Yeah, yeah. because if when I when I hit it hits hard. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say can you imagine um just Sort of walking on set, having had a bad day on that specific day, uh, while shooting that scene, that would oh, not wow. have been good. That would oh, not wow. have been good no. at all. Um, wow! Now all sorts of questions coming in from the chat. Um, was Lewis Hamilton robbed in Abu Dhabi? What? <laughs> Just, what? Any I thoughts? Any thoughts? Wrong channel. Wrong channel. Wrong channel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Season should be uh, back in March, guys. Um, so that should be uh, this thing. I'm gonna go. Um, this thing. Tapsi fan should be called Tapu Sena. Okay. Uh, DOP was the most in your face person. Um, <laughs> how did you choose the locations blending um, in with the story, which I think we've answered. Yeah, um, we spoke about that. Oh, this I want to know about. Um, without going into heavy spoilers, I, I want to understand the the butterfly. Explain the butterfly metaphor, please. I mean, uh, I, we we just wanted to do something. The butterfly was Bhatia's pet. Bhat Bhatia's pet. We were like butterfly. के हिसाब से सीन होगा पूरा. तो बताइए Bhatia's आप. 
in in one of our promotion interviews when bhatia sahab was asked who was his favorite performer on set he responded the butterfly so just because it, it was completely yeah. cg nice yeah. nice nice still from the alfred hitchcock school of actors i see <laughs> Um, yeah, the butterfly is. Uh, it was just like a very amusing way to sort of uh, talk about the butterfly effect, literally on the nose, you know. And also if, towards the end of the film, it's 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 almost like treated like this magical creature that is uh, that 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 can change the course of the story, but chooses not to. You know, it chooses not to. So Tapsi's character has gone and done everything that she could right. and saved Satya eventually. And something as small as this mystical creature came sort of. who who determines who can do anything and it comes in sort of mocks the entire idea of uh, let's say if we were to just talk about free will in a way you know it just mocks that in the end and just whatever she's done it just sidelines that and then it flies away so the universe that, is chaos sort of is like also i mean like also the like butterfly looks like eight and it has an infinity symbol in there it's all of those things so it was fun to play with that tap she's like one second what it has what ek second mai picture mein thi mujhe yeah. <laughs> kyun even tahir's like wait what yeah. but but i'm 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 not surprised and i'm sure it's neither is yeah. tapsi yeah. no no surprise i'm sur- i'm like shocked that i missed it uh, sorry bhatia i i will watch the picture again only for the butterfly just for the butterfly yeah <laughs> just akash is like the texture like- and printing on the butterfly i'll see all that in detail Akash is like no sure. one appreciates my art. No, <laughs> no one appreciates my art. Um, oh yeah, interesting question. Um, there's a very specific color palette at play in the film: green versus orange. Um, tell us a little bit about that and why that specific choice was made. I mean, it wasn't a versus as much as it was like a combination. Sure. Okay. Combination. Colors, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, Because see, when it's a versus, we know who wins. Yeah. <laughs> Always the, the green is for the go. For the go. Always the yeah. go wins. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Tahir, I, I that, can that. I can go to your Wikipedia page and read out your no, actual, no, actual achievements if you want. Yeah, yeah, so that yeah, you yeah, don't update, have to update, take update, so yeah. much like glory from this one promotion one, activity victory. One life. Yeah. It was it was a I, it breaks my heart to tell you this but that crown was made of plastic, all right? <laughs> oh right. shit. Like, yeah. it, it breaks my heart to tell you that. Yes. Yeah, I was saying uh no so again the color was uh, like green was chosen because just in, in my understanding of that color it's a very very versatile color you know it 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 reflects everything that Savi's character sort of touches upon emotionally in the film it's, it it is raw it is fresh it's the color of go speed but it's also it it, it can be interpreted as, as decay jealousy and greed you know i mean i, I think that was the reason something like that was chosen for savi's character um uh, satya orange a because i like orange b because uh, i for, for me f- what what we thought of was that in savi's life satya is like this sunrise and that comes after a very dark night and that sort of orange and amber is something that goes through the course of the film uh, i mean those were the two reasons that we stuck with these colors and then obviously progressively uh, uh, with each character they have their own little uh, color that we've given them okay That's awesome. Um nice giraffe in the background Tapsi says drop dead. Thanks. Um good morning says someone. So good morning guys. Good morning. Uh, um, good morning. There we go. Um uh MN Hasan wants to know, "Hi Tapsi ma'am, do you have plan to move to Hollywood?" If they cast me in a Marvel film, I'll right now pack my bags and move to Hollywood. You said this. Yes, you did say this. You would do the only way you would stick to one genre is if you were in the Avengers movies. <laughs> uh, is something that you said. I mean again, this was this was this is guys, this is what Pinkveda told me in my research, all right? It's That's hectic. That's that's it, way deeper than Wikipedia. It, it was it was it was film companion but it's okay. It's it was it, no no so no no see your original interview might have been film companion then everybody else sort of has to take <laughs> oh, over and break like it down that. right like so I'd reached Pink Villa which um, for people who don't know it's just about two left. Yeah, we got we got your we got your for the dark um, web. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pink web. <laughs> yeah, the pink the pink web. Um, Abhishek Das wants to know Tahir are you Netflix's new Radhika Apte? Oh man. I I don't know whether I would want a term like that. I would I would I would urge him to think is Radhika up to the old Tahiraj Basi. Oh, I no. knew you were going to say that. I bloody knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Oh man, what a guy. That's well, I guess now we know why you won last week at least. I mean, <laughs> you we were... have a last week and reference, yeah. Oh, 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 actually while we're still on the last week, uh Tahir I I didn't get a chance to explore this further and we were talking last Thursday. 
So Tahir Raj Basin said that if he were not an actor, he would be a motivational speaker. Oh shit! <laughs> Again, <laughs> my only question is: explain yourself. <laughs> you you have to understand. I went with the choices that I had. My yeah, alternates yeah. were palm reader yeah. and famous person's <laughs> best friend. What did you expect me to say? <laughs> yeah. um, fair, fair, fair. Um, oh, Etsy has this question, but um, are you? Or uh, actually, I'm gonna open this to everybody. I thought I've already done a few, but how open are you to negative roles in movies? I've done them. Well, there, there we go. I... Great answer. I was really nasty in Badla. I, I, and I am the one who chose to do that role. It was meant for a guy. I made it into a female character and then did it. Oh, very good. <laughs> but yeah. I, I, uh, I honestly feel um, that that one of the things you're sort of taught when you're when you're picking scripts is you you, ne- you should never judge your character. So I feel mm-hmm. like whether you see it as negative, that's like an audience's perception. But you can't go into a film saying, "Yeah, I'm playing the bad guy," because then you've already made a judgment about the character, and that's how. um i like to approach script damn you want to make me go back watch the india cool. and reevaluate mogambo yeah <laughs> yeah like get the sweet cuddly mogambo prequel we all deserve yes <laughs> yeah, like he was misunderstood this whole time yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Joker, yeah. Joker, yeah. joker is an amazing example of that man for yeah, imagine if you do watch joker before you watch dark knight that's great right that just changes the story forever that yeah. you're right yeah. that's a great point uh i is a smart man Is the is the is Thank the second uh, pitch of this evening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tahir is a smart man. Nice. That's like the Conor Roy was interested in politics from a very young age. Tahir is a smart man. Um, this is I can't ask this question. Ashtar, Tapsi, favorite director you work with? Like she's not going to say Akash. She may just just let her answer that question. Oh. I'm okay. She's somebody else. I, I, listen, fav- first of all, it's a very bad idea to have favorites uh, for an actor. But uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, एक वो कॉन्सेप्ट सुना रुमाल रख देने वाला तो वो अगर यू लाइक यू पुट अ रुमाल ऑन ऑन इट आई पुट रुमाल ऑन आकाश भट्ट या आई लाइक व्हाटएवर यू आर डूइंग नेक्स्ट यू आर कमिंग टू मी एंड दैट एंड दैट आई डिड बिफोर द फिल्म रिलीज ओके या सो Wait. So Tapsi, just so you know, his next two are going to be with us. So you may as well throw some rumals in our direction as well while you're at. Listen, Tanu just put the rumal on me already, so <laughs> there is no rumal. Yeah, listen, Tanu wants to. I feel, like, to I, I feel a little left out of the rumal game, guys. Like, <laughs> I, I'm, like I thought we you're were a team. You're currently yeah. getting an insight into how negotiations happen in Bollywood. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. On, just sit on, back, on, on just sit back and enjoy. Tanu uh, is negotiating with international tattoo artists to see who can do the best infinity sign. So you can go to Tapsi and go. Okay, that's 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 good to know. I mean, this is what y'all are spending your money on. Could have just hoisted that piano. Could have just hoisted that piano, but fine. Could have just. <laughs> Could have. Um. And should... and and also for whatever it's worth, uh, in the in the pitch I made to uh, like Tahir, uh, I said, listen, um, this is much more than Manny's role in the original. Okay, you have the coolest line, and I'm guaranteeing you that this will change your life. Yes. It's my next question. Mind. My next. My next question to Tahir Raj Basin is: Tahir Raj Basin has, has this changed has your life? Changed your life? <laughs> has your life changed? It's not a trick question. <laughs> it 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 has like never never before have people said, "Hey man, nice smile," and uh, like you know, they kind of like like you as the romantic charmer. So yes, it is like pr- producer Saab ne zaman di thi or zaman sach nikhi. Consider this. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow! I thought that I you know. just said your big line and then dramatic exit. I know, yeah, a cliff cliffhanger. Consider this my rumal on 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 all of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh Shruti wants to know should I do I have to watch Rad Lola Ran before watching Loop Lapeta for a good experience I mean you should watch this and then if you want to watch it then you should go and watch it as well you know because it's a great film representing Akash representing here right now like full on um there there a question for uh, Tahir how many google searches and youtube videos did you actually watch while shooting ye kali kali aake Wow, many. Uh, and but uh, I I think this is a loop lapeta wow. chat, so we should uh, stick to that because <laughs> I get multiple messages from uh, Atul Kasbeker on my Instagram saying, "Why are you talking about the other stuff?" Oh, I see. Yeah. He'll message him live right now. <laughs> yeah, he'll message me live right now. I have but, control of the Zoom call. I can boot Atul at any time if you'd like, and then we can continue oh, okay, this conversation, okay. and then I can pull well, him back in. 
Yeah, yeah, but but multiple, and I think that's what makes uh, the character fun is that he's flawed. He doesn't know uh, how to do stuff. Okay, that is good. Uh, da 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 da. Hey, that acting. Love your acting. Please take note. Uh, Akuti says, "I love your acting." Um, oh, Tuhin asks, uh, "Guys, what do you think about movies on the likes of Hereditary or Midsommar being made in an Indian context?" All right. Any of you horror fans at all? No. My, no, not, not at all, really. really. No. I no. No, I can't watch. Tuhin, I will. Although, I will bank this question for Rajesh. Although two studios, uh, you know, two studios have approached us just now, saying, "Yar, kuch horror, horror hai to leke aao," because they're dying to do it. And neither Tanush nor me have any concept of whatever. So, if anyone has a good script out there, I'm putting it out there. You know, as page the. There we go, guys. Anybody who has a good script, uh, horror ding, script, ding 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 ding. Message inbox. Yeah. Like right, yeah, it's going to go crazy. Don't 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 put out your email address right now. Um, it's not the best idea. I'm going to see if we have any more uh, chat questions. Um, no. So my oh, there's a question here. Uh, Tapsi, who's your favorite YouTuber? Nation wants to know. But Tapsi has said favorites अच्छे नहीं होते. So let's move on very quickly. Yeah, please. Let's. Let's just move on. Um, and my final question uh, before I let you all go is, um, what's next for each of you? I hope it's Shabash Mitu. Uh, well, it is times are such that we can't guarantee about anything that what's going to come up next. Since I already have like three films that are ready, so I hope Shabash Mitu uh, comes up next. Okay. And for Akash, I'm still waiting for the script for what is his next. <laughs> I'm I'm reading stuff. I'm writing stuff. Uh, meeting people, you know, exploring the world that Bollywood is. So let's see. Uh, for for me, there's like a, a super interesting series and and a film coming up. Uh, unfortunately, Omicron plays all sport, and things have gotten a bit delayed. But uh, I, I mean, I'm excited about it, but can't really talk about it because it's not done till it's done in Bombay. True, this is true. This is very very true. Yeah. Atul, we actually feel like a proper studio right now. I mean, like which which wasn't the master plan, but you know, thanks to this whole virus right. thing, so uh-huh. we released one just now. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we released one just now. We have two in post production. Uh, so Sharma Ji ki Beti, which is directed by um, a, a, a good friend, Tyra uh, Kurana Kashyap. Kashyap Kurana has uh, is, is ready. I think it's going to go this week on Thursday, Friday to the studio. And we have one with Vidya Eliana and uh, Sandeep Ramurthy and Pratik Gandhi, which is a really good script. Also directed by uh, another uh, actor director called Shirsha Gua Thakurta. And that is in final post. We will be edit locking again by Friday. And there's then that other one on that's developing for Tapsi Sorry? and Tahir. Uh, that <laughs> <we're doing>. <laughs> <laughs> we've just we've just gone like this to scriptwriters nationwide saying Tapsi Tahir kya kuch liya. Bas. Yeah. You know they all feel like bad answers that Topaz. If anyone gets that. <laughs> wow! What a bizarrely specific reference. Yeah, exactly. Um, Very strange. Nothing personal. Like, <laughs> like Atul Kazbekar, six South Bombay friends have got this reference. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, that is exactly it. Uh, Producers are so sobo. Their references, metaphors, everything is very sobo. It's true. It's true. I feel seen. Uh, guilty. Atul, come on, Atul. Can't be better than this. You can't do this. Um, Satyam Yadav said, says, "Tanuj's hang on. Tanuj's original plan was to call it South of the Ceiling Productions." Okay, wow. and, and the opening and the and the opening wow. thing was going to start at the ceiling, going southwards, and you know, all the dragons and really shitty weather and whatever. And as you come closer towards uh, you know Bali Sea Face, it's like springtime and you know rainbows and shit. I said nobody will come and see our movies, so, uh, <laughs> except the six and a half people who see movies in South Bombay. So uh, tell me, two, of, two, two of whom are on this chat. Yeah, tell me that that Atul, that was like tell me you're a townie without telling me you're a townie. Yeah, <laughs> this was so. this was literally that meme. Um, Divyan Singh, wow, Divyan Singh has asked forty five times. When was the last time Tapsi was in Jaipur? What the hell? <laughs> Not forty five. Yeah, but last I was there. Uh, abhi uh, November, I was shooting for Bollywood. Where? So yeah, I was there for almost a month. Yeah. Well. There we go. Uh, one, I'm going to just read out the last round of these things. The uh, Satyam Yadav says, um, "Akash, what a beard, resplendent, um, fantastic." Um, is that was this like one of those production things where you're like, "I will not until 
like this thing or is this just your vibe no no i've had it for many years now yeah this film uh, came into my life 2 years ago this beard came into my life i mean it is me growing it like 8 8 9 years ago now so. that's pretty wild um love tapsi uh, is remakes more difficult we talked about remakes already um why are you ignoring bus just for style um that's it other than that <laughs> other than that just people saying nice things and people saying uh, good luck you guys so i'm going to let you go because uh tapsi i believe you are still um on set in my van said, yeah you're still in your yeah. van and taking this interview wow. and um atul has to Commitment. get rid of the wallpaper behind him uh with all those people <laughs> It's an unlimited time. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't buy the pro version. It rolls up. It rolls up suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you guys again. Uh, Loop La Peta is on Netflix. Uh, do you guys want to say one last thing to everybody to watch it? Pitch Loop La Peta in ten seconds or less each. Go for it. Topsy. <laughs> Go. Topsy. Me. Okay, if you want to watch uh, the never seen before content on Bollywood, you which you keep ribbing about, watch Loop La Peta. If you want to see the most stylish film that's ever been made in India, go check out Loop La Peta. Oh wow, wow! Please go watch Loop La Peta on Netflix. My first picture is please see. I like it. I like the character arc from confidence and swag to just earnest. Please. Yeah. Please, 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 please. I like please, please. it. <laughs> uh, please watch Loop La Peta because uh, Tyre will give you his gambling smile, his charming smile, and the one where Tapsi will finish a sentence. When blue film ki heroine, blue film ka hero acting करने लगता है. A sex scene के बीच में acting करने लगता है. All right, thank you all so much for joining. Uh, thank you, thank you, Ruan. Thank you, Akash. Thank you, Tapsi. Thank you, Atul. Thanks, thank man. Thank you, Tahir. I wish you all very, very good things. And Tahir, I hope that you know, aside from acting, you can also find time for relationships. Whenever you do, please <laughs> let me know. I will update your Wikipedia page. For you. <laughs> <laughs> will do. Will do. At the moment, it's just me and that plastic crown, man. You know what, man? I mean, you seem really into it, so I don't, yeah. I don't want to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> All that talk. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, chat. Thank yeah. you, everybody. We will be back with another thirty questions tomorrow, for which I will notify you soon. On that note, see you, Shubhratri. Good night, and all those other things. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.